Hey, this is Ernesto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Isotopes Focal Sin 2 for beginners. This video is gonna be really introductory, which means I'm not gonna talk about every knob and slider inside Vocal Sin. Instead, I'll focus on teaching you about the most essential and common controls. To start off, we'll talk about Vocal Sin's auto mode. So auto mode is a default mode inside of Vocal Sin. Pretty much uh, just place Vocal Sin on an audio track and just let it rip. Or did we fade like footprints in the sand? Maybe someday you'll help me understand. And here's how it works. The, the heart of vocal synth are these five vocal synthesis modules up here. And what I like is that they are really distinct engines from one another. My favorite engines to use are the vocoder. Uh, this talk box here. And polybox. And the idea is that you would add upon each of these engines here and blend them together so that you would end up with something like this. Under each of these engines, you have some controls here to help shape the character um, with each engine. And I'm not gonna talk about each knob and slider because there's a whole bunch. So when you're exploring this plugin on your own to learn what they do, just hover over a control and a tool tip will pop up. Another quick tip you can try is to make sure you, you, you try out balancing the volume of each engine. I find that it helps bring a lot of depth and clarity to your results. Now let's talk about these other controls in the center. So pitch and voicing, these play a, a really big part with auto mode. I'll switch to a preset called Four Barbers that does a really good job at showing what the section does. So this is what it sounds like. What did we fade, like footprints in the sand? Now let's talk about why it sounds that way. Pitch lets you adjust the pitch detection and pitch correction of the audio signal. This register section here is where you'll tell vocal synth where in your register your audio is sitting. Um, I find that it's good to start with mid and if things aren't sounding good, then try switching the register to high or low. In this vocal slider, this determines how much of the pitch corrected dry signal is gonna come through. So in my case, I'm using a sample and that doesn't need pitch correction, so I don't need to use this. But if you have a raw vocal and you wanna hear some pitch correction blending with your vocal synth signal, then go for it. So this correction column is where you set the key of the audio for vocal synth to correct and work with. Um, this is pretty simple to use. Uh, my sample is an F sharp minor, so that's what I set it to. Um, and if you don't know which key your audio is in, you can click the learn button and it'll suggest a few different keys for you to try out. Now let's go to the voicing tab. The voicing tab I think is where a lot of the magic of auto mode comes into play. Voicing allows you to add harmonies to your vocal. And these harmonies will go through the vocal synth modules themselves. So in the four barbers preset, we have three voicings at a third, a sixth, and a fifth below. So let's build them up and see how they're working together. Without any harmonies, we just hear the wet vocal going through polybox. Like now let's add in the third. The and now we start to get some harmonization happening. And then when you add the sixth, you get even more. And then the negative fifth, you get even more. So let's talk about these other controls. The gate knob here is it's a simple way to get a cleaner output signal from vocal synth. Sometimes the vocal tracks will have a breath in there too, and you may not want that breath to go through vocal synth. Um, sometimes it can be like a little distracting and noisy like this. So all you gotta do is bring up the gate and so you don't hear it anymore like this. Oh, and hey, if you don't have vocal synth already, and if you want to try it out for free, just click my affiliate link down below for a free trial. Great, now let's talk about MIDI mode. Um, MIDI mode is my favorite way to use vocal synth pro. Instead of setting up voicing like we did in auto mode, we are going to be using our MIDI keyboard or our MIDI clip to determine the voicing, making it more dynamic, uh, more customizable, and I just think a whole lot more interesting. So let me show you how to set up uh, MIDI in your DAW. So if you click this button here, you can select MIDI mode. And for DAWs like Logic and Ableton, there will be a diagram here showing you step-by-step -step how to route vocal synth. Um, I use Bitwig Studio, which is an up and coming DAW that no one knows about. Um, so that's why it's not here. But routing it is uh, pretty easy regardless. To route it in Bitwig, just uh, make a MIDI track and go to the out here and under note to track, select a track that has vocal synth on it like this. 
And once you route MIDI according to your DAW, you could play with your MIDI keyboard or add on a MIDI clip, and then you'll get something like this. When I hear your name, it's not the same. Is it just me? No. So MIDI mode works similar to auto in that you select your modules, you mix and match them, you tweak some knobs, these little sliders here, and then you're done with the bulk of the work. Down in the center here with pitch and voicing, if you click voicing, you'll see that these harmonized sliders are grayed out. You can't use them. Instead, you need to select between mono and poly. Poly lets you play uh, multiple MIDI notes at the same time, and then mono allows you to play one note at a time, which is pretty cool. Like I was kind of surprised with this. Um, you can even add glide, and I think it makes things sound a little bit more interesting and almost like a computer trying to talk. So for MIDI and auto mode, I really like using presets. I think it speeds things up like crazy. But of course, um, I like to take a preset and make it my own, and you probably like to do that too. So to help make things more unique, let me introduce you to the module advanced panels here. Um, I'm definitely not gonna touch on everything here. Some advanced panels are different from others, um, but what I find myself tweaking a whole bunch are the pitch on the oscillators. Sometimes these pitch oscillators are like set way too deep, like two octaves below. So I'll bring them up an octave here. Um, I also like to adjust the filter if there's too much low or high end. And I also like touching the shape and mod knobs, which add some modulation to the synth wave shape. If you don't want to think about any of this, that's all good. Um, you can check out the presets inside the advanced module themselves. I find that these are a really great and easy way to jumpstart some inspiration. And hey, if you're finding this video really valuable so far, then please consider supporting the channel uh, by liking this video. Okay, now onto sidechain mode. So what this is gonna do is take the pitch from your sidechain source and run that through vocal synth. So instead of using MIDI notes to determine the voicing, the melody from the audio source will determine the voicing that goes through vocal synth. Now that probably sounds really confusing, um, so let me just show you how to do it. First, we'll have to route it. Hopefully, VocalSense shows you how to, how to route it in your DAW here, but if not, this is pretty much what you're gonna do. In Bitwig, create a new audio track where the sidechain will come from and route it out under audio to tracks to the track with VocalSense on it. And to the track with VocalSense on it, click the uh, show plugin sidechain button and then select sidechain input and have that be the audio for the sidechain. Cool, now get some audio like a loop from Splice and place it on that sidechain track and this will now combine with the audio running through vocal synth. And then here's some examples of what you can get with it. The last thing I wanna introduce are the effects at the bottom. Isotope, they were kind enough to include effects that work really well with vocal synthesis and they have fairly simple controls. It's what you expect from these kind of effects. You can also click and drag them to reorder however you want in your effects chain. And that's uh, how to use Isotope's vocal synth 2 for beginners. If you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe. It'll help other music makers find this channel. Thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you later.